What's up guys, it's Will here and today I'm going to be telling you that it does not require an excessive amount of money to have good style and fashion. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Style and fashion is very important. Whether you're a girl or a guy, most likely for a girl you already have some level of awareness of this. I mean you're a girl, generally speaking, naturally you tend to like style and fashion. But for the girls who don't understand why they should bother to do so, or the guys who don't even bother to splash their face with water before they wake up and jump out of bed, and that was me all throughout high school, I'm not gonna lie. I literally didn't do anything. I would hear the bus rush by my house, and I would sprint up straight out of bed with my backpack in tow after, uh, well, technically, I didn't have to chase it because it would come back. The first pass was a warning, and then, uh, but the the point is, I didn't really do much in terms of grooming, style, or fashion. And like it or not, a certain level of that matters, whether it's for your career, for business, or for meeting and attracting people. Like people like it when you're at least hygienic, or you're at least average in terms of fashion. Like if you're grotesque and everything's broken and you smell funny and it's clear your hair is all over the place and you haven't showered and there's gunk all over your face and neck that's disgusting that's going to be a turn off and you're setting yourself up for a disadvantage before you even get a chance to talk and open your mouth and show your strengths and why put yourself at such a disadvantage and lower your chances so I have this great quote from this book, Hashtag Girl Boss. And this girl knows what she's talking about in terms of fashion and style. She literally built up this company from scratch on her own. Out of fun, really. She kind of stumbled across it, selling stuff on eBay. And she eventually grew this to an enormous size. And through that process, she had to take on all sorts of jobs. From photoshopping pictures to everything you can imagine involving style from rummaging thrift stores and picking out different outfits to trying them out on models, being creative and figuring out how this might work with this. And if I use this child jacket from the child section and then this men's jacket, I can get this weird look that almost looks like it came off a runway. That's the type of fashion stuff that's above me that she understands well and I want to read to you one quote in here because she got to a point where she was so good at this that she could just look at an outfit look at a person and she would know all your measurements head to toe shoulder to shoulder waist to waist whatever so here's the quote despite the fact that I'm wearing YSL platforms as I write this I've always believed that it shouldn't cost a lot of money to look good. I mean, there's more to the quote. Let me, let me just read some more, but you get the point. Our customers work hard for her m money. So it goes without saying that she's going to be careful with how she spends it. That also highlights the difference between fashion and style. You can have a ton of money and buy yourself all the designer goods you can stuff into the trunk of your Mercedes Benz, but no amount of money can buy you style. Having good style takes thought, creativity, confidence, self-awareness, even sometimes a little bit of work. I, I just find that very fascinating. And this is not the first person with good style to say something like this. There's this YouTube channel that I watch a lot of videos for. It's called uh, Alpha M. And it's not the only men's style channel I've been watching. And let me tell you, this is coming from a guy who for most of his life didn't care a thing about style or fashion for monetary reasons. And then just because he sucked at it. I did go through a phase where I went to the mall a lot and bought a lot of clothing and still looked like crap. Just pure crap. So that's another story for another day. But the point is... Um, Alpha M, you know, he's very good with style and fashion and he's a men's style YouTube channel and he has many thousands of subscribers. And one thing he said was when he was in high school, he was voted most fashionable. 
and yet at the time he was close to broke his family was very poor and he got all his outfits from the thrift store so it just goes to show you that you know there is a bit of truth to this for me this is an awesome awesome thing because not a lot of us have a ton of money to spend and i just think that's really cool and inspiring uh, that you have this potential to look a lot better look a lot cooler and so forth and it's possible at the same time though i've seen a lot of stories and people who just completely fail their sense of style and fashion just suck and they need someone else someone else to help them to guide them